When the Medusan space yacht hit Earth's atmosphere, there could be no hope of survivors. So reasoned Supreme Counselor Octavia, commander of the pursuit ship Nemesis. But Fulvia, whose male domestic, Adam, with his friend Shem, had escaped in her yacht, still hoped. For although men are regarded as inferior on the planet Medusa, she loved her male servant. On Earth, Professor Evans and his assistants Liz Becker and Rudy Schmidt, realizing the fugitives had survived, finally make contact with them. Adam and Shem appeal to them for sanctuary. But on Medusa, not only do women rule, women hunt relentlessly. Again on the run, Adam and Shem, fooling Earth police, hide out in a medieval castle. Tracked down by Octavia's man-finders and flushed out by the nightmare cannon, Shem finally cracks and gives himself up to the police. But Octavia, suspecting only treachery from a male-dominated planet, has taken hostages. Evan's assistants, Rudy and Liz. Octavia's ultimatum is clear. Hand over Adam and Shem or you will never see Liz and Rudy again. Nemesis to planet Earth, do you hear me? This is the Medusa search ship Nemesis calling Professor Evans. Are you ready to negotiate? They keep a poor watch on your planet. Please keep trying. Planet Earth, do you hear my signal? We have two hostages on board. Unless you agree to our terms, they will never see Earth again. I repeat, this is Medusa search ship Nemesis calling Professor Evans. We have two hostages on board. Unless you agree to our terms, they will never see Earth again. Are you ready to negotiate? Do you read my signal? I read you. Wait, please. Fulvia. No deal, Fulvia. We are not coming back. We are not coming back. Stand by to return to Medusa. We're in the middle of negotiation. Well, you heard what they said. They are not coming back. What can one expect from a planet ruled by men? You can't reason with Earth. Plot course for Medusa. Has suitable accommodation been arranged, Andrea? Yes, Councillor. Good. I shall report to Madam President. Are those the Earth primitives? Primitives? Follow me. You have had some bad weather, haven't you? Yes, proton disturbance between Jupiter and Uranus. But we ought, of course, to avoid the worst of it. Hey, where are you taking me? Where are they taking you? To the men's quarters. But Rudy and I stay together. While he is here on Medusa, he will be treated like any other male. No, I am not available to the press. Oh, the whole situation is impossible. I mean, two of my assistants disappear from the face of the earth. Everyone's demanding to know what will happen to them. Life for Dr. Becker will be very pleasant. As a woman, she will have the best of everything. And Rudy? He'll survive. Oh, well, we've got to find a way of getting them back. We are free men now, Professor. No exchange. You must protect us. You look tired, my dear. I know exactly what you need. A short spell under the oxygen lamp. Under the what? Sit down. Relax. It restores your beauty and takes away your trivial worries. Take us prisoners and you call that trivial. You 
Let's not consider yourself a prisoner. Rudy is. <laughs> you mustn't concern yourself over a mere male. You're not in love. No, I'm not. That would be a great mistake. Now relax. Put him out of your mind. To love a man is to give him power over you, and he will only abuse that. But you love Adam. Nonsense. I show him affection in return for the great love he has for me. Then I wonder why he'd run away. He'll be back. What are you doing? Well, if we can't get through, can't negotiate. I don't care if we can't get through. I'm not going back to Medusa. What do you make of this? Bad space effects. What, sunspots? More like a proton storm. What's that? <laughs> I was a mechanic on a yacht that ran into one once. We're lucky to get back alive. It's still a long way off. Well, it's affecting our signal strength. Can you increase it? Well, if we feed the circuit through this booster system, they'll be able to hear us on Medusa. Connect these two. Feed it between them. Carry on. Stand up. I've discussed your position with our president. As from tomorrow morning, you will report for duty at the hydrophonic gardens. Doing what? Gardening, of course. The rules are simple. The Queen is never captured. Earth to Medusa. Professor Evans calling Supreme Counselor Octavia. Your proposal for the exchange of my assistants, Dr. Liz Becker and Dr. Rudy Schmidt, for the Medusans, Adam and Shem, is acceptable, provided Certain conditions are guaranteed. This is the communication from Earth? The attempted negotiation? Yes, it's what we recorded. I've electro-washed it, destaticized and boosted it. But the quality is bad. It's just as the signal came through. You know what's causing it. It's a proton storm we saw starting. The wretched equipment. Too primitive to do the job properly. Earth to Medusa. It got through. Professor Evans calling Supreme Counselor Octave. Your proposal for the exchange, Dr. Liz Becker and Dr. Rudy Schmidt is acceptable. Guaranteed.
return guaranteed. So Adam's coming back. Of course. Men can't survive without women to protect them. Get the Nemesis prepared for takeoff. And what about this proton activity? Check it. We came through it once. It's nothing. Six hours. They must have got our transmission. If it got through the storm. Well, what are you hoping for? Octavia will never agree to our conditions. She can't be that unreasonable. <laughs> Rudy, have you heard the news? We are going back. Isn't it wonderful? Are you all right? I don't know how men here put up with it. There was a time when Medusa was ruled by men, our Dark Ages. We had nothing but wars, violence, and greed. Since women took over, we have had centuries of peace and progress. And I'm glad to be going back. Violence, greed, and all. Prediction room calling Supreme Council of Fulvia. Beam in prediction screen. Message continued from Earth. It's me, Shem. I've been asked to give my conditions for coming back to Medusa. I'd like to. If I could be sure that Councillor Octavia will pardon me. And give me back my old job. Octavia, did you hear that? I can agree to that. Andrea, switch off. The disturbance is unbearable. We shall have to take off before it gets worse. Something else is coming through. In my conditions, men must have equal rights with women. Equal opportunities, equal education. Or I don't come back. Oh, and Trulia, I no longer serve you. We are equal. Turn that off. You had no right to cut that signal. You heard him. Rebellious. Outrageous. We can't negotiate on these terms. You should have consulted the Destiny computer first. You don't need a computer. Adam has defied us. But Shem has given in. And if Earth agrees to hand them over... If you can trust Earth... Let the computer decide. If it means so much to you. Computer control, you've heard the question. Would such a voyage to Earth be fruitful? Negative. Does that mean Adam should be left on Earth? Positive. Well, that settles it. But that means we have to stay. You will have a much better life on Medusa. But Rudy, he might make a very good gardener. No, I insist on not having him as a gardener. I want him to be my, um, what do you call it, my domestic. Thank you very much. Rudy! He will learn. Computer control. Is there any chance, one in 10,000, that if someone were to go to Earth and talk to Adam, could anything come of that? Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Nemesis to surface port control. Standby cancelled. Flight abandoned. Wait a minute, Andrea. There's been a last minute change of plan. The flight is on. I don't understand. The atmospheric report records a disaster strength. The flight is on, Commander. Do you usually question your orders? No, but Octavia... Octavia is not in charge of this flight. I am going alone. I have had no instructions. Well, I'm giving you instructions. As you said, there's a powerful proton disturbance close to our course. So the sooner we take off, the better. Yes, Counselor. That's in order. Clearance required immediately. Top priority. 
She has no authority. She must be stopped. Alert space station. Ready for takeoff. Standing by, but I'm not... Activate. The nemesis must be stopped. Andrea, can you hear me? Security. She has cut off communications. Can you get me through on this? Yes, Councillor. Andrea. I give you overriding orders. Fulvia, for your own sake, what are you doing? On atmospherics alone, you can't make it. We have a reading on that proton storm. It is at destruction point. So they are coming for us. Bring up the scanners. Increase chromatic scale. I don't understand. Medusa must know about the storm. Outer proton layer. Solar 12. I can't avoid it. We did before. Take her out in a wide arc. It's half a light year from end to end now. We'll just have to ride it. Fulvia, you're ordered to return to Medusa. Maintain course. Fulvia, do you receive me? It's Fulvia on that ship. Commander Andrea, this is an order. You have no chance if you try to go through the storm. She's right, Counselor. We must turn back now. I can't leave, Adam. Sit down! <laughs> force they disintegrate. Keep going, Counselor. We could be heading for infinity. There's just a chance the beam gets through to us from Medusa. The ship's circling. As though they had no fixed points, no navigation. Oh, if only they were on the other side of the storm, then Medusa could contact them on video beacons. Is there anything we can do? 
Well, if we can steady the signal and increase it, a bit of luck. That's it? Oh, no. Not on that wavelength. Not from Medusa. Not Medusa. Earth, Andrea. Man, you control quickly. Coming towards us. Adam, they've survived. They're landing. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Want me to come with you? Adam, you saved my life. No. No, it wasn't me. It was Shen. The signal. It was Shem's idea, not mine. Don't be so modest. You saved your mistress's life because you love her. No! No! It was Shem! Adam, come back! His idea! 